everybody welcome back to my channel so today's video is one that i'm really excited to bring to you because it was inspired by a conversation that i had with my friend carla recently completely surrounding and other stories knitwear we were reorganizing my wardrobe and i was talking about this and other stories jumper that i have and that i love and how much i love their knitwear but i am always so apprehensive about ordering it because i never know how it's going to fit because the fits are always a little bit iffy i find especially if your figure has any kind of curve to it for a more athletic style body i think that's the word i'm thinking of for a more athletic style body they tend to cater quite well but if there's any kind of like curve going on i do find that their knitwear tends to be a little bit hit and miss but the main thing that I also find, because everywhere is a bit hit and miss in terms of its sizing, the fashion industry sucks like that and in many other ways, but anyway, I digress. The main issue that I find with And Other Stories Knitwear is how itchy it can be. And it really puts me off ordering from them because you don't want to order stuff that you have your heart set on and then you find out it's really fucking itchy because that sucks. I don't like wearing tons and tons of layers so I don't want to wear a t-shirt underneath something to make it not itchy. That shit should just not be itchy in the first place. So with that in mind, I thought this video would be really helpful for those of you who might be in the same situation that I am, or if you just like knitwear. This is basically a knitwear haul for those of you that just like knitwear, but for those of you who are interested in some of the jumpers that And Other Stories have to offer right now, this is basically your bible for my edit of knitwear and my review on whether they are itchy as fuck or not, and the fit as well, if that is something that is kind of applicable to you. So yeah, basically, I hope this video is helpful for some of you and it maybe stops you either wasting your money or helps you make a more informed purchase. And where possible, I'm also going to show you how I would style each item as well. However, some of them are very, very similar. I ordered a lot of kind of similar styles because we all know I have like a type that I like, this is one of them. So in some cases I ordered a few different variants to see whether the fit differed, whether the materials differed and how. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on that in this video. But yeah, if you like your neutral knitwear, you're gonna love this. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. So this jumper is without a doubt one of my favorites from And Other Stories at the moment. It's got long kind of oversized sleeves, but it's fairly fitted around your kind of like body. I'll pop sizing information in the info box below, but I believe I got most of these in a medium because I like more room. So if you can see, there's quite a lot of room to this. I like more room to my knitwear. It allows you to layer underneath and it just gives a slightly more slouchy fit and everything kind of falls better, especially if you have a waist and then hips, it just kind of allows allows for the hips but yeah this one has a seamless look to it the only seam it has is like along the shoulder and then on the arms it just feels very very clean there's no anything like around the neck it just kind of very smoothly goes up into this high neck it's not too high it's not a roll neck and i just find that very very comfortable to wear i don't feel too claustrophobic in it and this is not itchy so this one might have to stay with me because i really do love it however we shall see what the rest are kind of looking like what the rest of and other stories is giving me in terms of knitwear but this is a lovely lovely color it's like a warm oatmeal color just really really beautiful it works really well with both like black and white it's not too light that it just looks like an off-white next to white so you can pair it really nicely with it and it's not too nude or too brown which i really like because i feel like brown is a very on trend color at the moment and i do think that a lighter more nude kind of beige oatmeal vanilla style jumper although much more classic and boring and not so much on trend is something that you will keep in your wardrobe for much much longer so i really love this color there is a similar color in a different fit that i also ordered to see which i prefer because the length of this in terms of like the fact that i am obviously five foot two grew half an inch last year. Don't know how that happens at 28 but or 27 last year. Being that height, things do tend to hit at a slightly awkward point, but I actually don't mind so much with this. And I've just paired it with my Zara leather look leggings. They don't look very leathery in this light. There we go. They look a bit leathery there. And then Zara leather boots as well. I don't know if these are actually real leather, but leather look boots, which have got mud all over my floor. Great. I need to clean that hold please it's gone now but yeah so i really like this look it's just very very nice and easy and i will show you my favorite coat to pair with this one as you can see next to the white coat this coat is actually a slight off white it's more of a yellowy white but next to the whiter coat this does look 
much more pink in its tone but I really like that and I think that this works really really beautifully and I really love this outfit so yeah I'm probably gonna wear this a lot said I wasn't gonna keep anything for this video and uh, yeah failed at the first hurdle so yeah that's great yeah I love the kind of neckline and the seamless like there's literally like no there's a ribbing but there's no like seam around here or around the neck and I find that that's just like kind of more elongating on the body. I think that makes it look a bit more modern and I don't know, just a bit more clean and minimal if you like that look. So yeah, this is already a favorite. Big thumbs up for this, not itchy, fits really nicely. Material feels gorgeous and love the color. And I would say the color is quite true to the website. I do find sometimes you order things and they do not come in the color that you thought they were going to come in, but this is pretty spot on by my memory, so. Yeah, very happy with this one. This jumper, I loved the design of. Like, I really love it. But, and this was my dream way of wearing and styling it. However, it could do with being literally a centimeter higher. Kind of like that. Literally like that. So, in this case, it's not the jumper, it's me. <laughs> my five foot two-ness is not doing me many favors. I mean, I think a lot of people would prefer this stitch to it being a centimeter higher but for me i would just prefer a, ti a tiny bit shorter like a tiny tiny bit so sadly this one isn't for me however the material feels nice the only thing i would say is that it is slightly rough in terms of this material here it's almost like that sparkly fabric which does look really beautiful it's almost festive but not festive oh god i just love the color palette of this it's really beautiful it's making me sad but yeah it's slightly itchy on the inside and there's also a seam around the back which is a little bit itchy as well so this one sadly is not for me but i do think there's a lot of people that would love this i really love the design it's so beautiful for anyone that's wondering i will link everything that i'm wearing and styling this with in the info box below but these boots are from zara i do actually think this could look cuter with like a leather pair of over the knee boots that are a little bit more like big and slouchy and not so tight to the leg maybe that come with a heel that kind of thing but yeah i think for those of you that are over five foot two you're gonna look so cute in this sadly i don't moving on this jumper is a prime example of my expectations versus reality being way way off so for one see-through not ideal not ideal one of the things i really love about autumn and winter is the fact that I can wear anything, any knitwear, any hoodie, without a bra, and no one will ever know. It's like, am I in pyjamas underneath here? Am I wearing underwear? Am I not? You will never know. And this is not conforming. And that makes me very sad. So, for that, points deducted. The collar also doesn't sit in the exact way that I thought it would but I could forgive that because it's still very cute. However, it's itchy, so itchy. One of those very fluffy materials, but some of the other jumpers that I have are very fluffy materials and I do not have this issue. So yeah, this one I would not keep. It's actually like from where it sits so heavy around the neckline, it's really like pushing the fibers into my skin and I just constantly want to itch myself. So if you do like this jumper because it, it's, it does look very cute like this. I paired it with my very baggy Zara jeans. They're literally like clown pants, but I love them. And then my ASOS boots and a brown belt. I just really love the vibe of like black baggy jeans and a brown belt. It's a vibe. It does look very, very cute like this. If you were going to try and make this work, I would say a kind of high necked t-shirt vest top body some kind of thing underneath that comes up quite high but not too high so that you can see it but just shields your skin from the knitwear because it is especially itchy around the neckline so sadly this is one of the prime examples of and other stories knitwear that just doesn't work out for me i don't tend to have this with any other knitwear i don't know if it's the fact that the quality of material is slightly better at other, and other stories i'm not entirely sure but I do just find things tend to come in a much itchier fabric. It's not ideal. This is what it's like for length, by the way. Longer at the back. In my personal opinion, it needs a tuck. Just looks cuter like that. So yeah, this is the reason I'm doing this video. Oh, it's so itchy. 
and he slips off, be right back. Same outfit, different jumper. This I was really excited about because I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not like the girliest knitwear human being and these button up cardigans are very, very girly. However, I just really have been liking them recently and I thought this could be really, really cute. But this was one that I really thought could be quite hit and miss. It's not itchy like the other jumper that I just tried on. However, it is a little bit itchy around the neckline, which is kind of sad because my ideal way to wear this would be without something on underneath. Little bit torn over this one, if I'm honest. I love the fact that it's cropped. So this is literally like where it sits. And I just think this would look so nice. Leather trousers. I might try this on with leather trousers and show you what that looks like. I do think this would be such a great wardrobe staple and you can obviously like have it undone and stuff like that. So it's like a little bit versatile, you know, but I don't know, just for that slight itchiness i'm just not sure but i do love the color of it i think it's such a timeless really easy classic color it's like that gray kind of beige really really gorgeous so i would recommend this one i actually think i could put up with the slight kind of itch around here it's not like the other jumper i just wanted to take off like i literally you know when you just want to rip something off because it's annoying you so much this isn't like that which is great i do think it's just like a really beautiful classic knit so this one i would say still gets my thumbs up yeah it's cute it's really cute and this is what it looks like with my leather trousers these are from zara and then i've got these little top shop sandals on just to give it more of like an evening vibe i don't know i still like wearing sandals in the winter i am one of those mental people though i just don't care if it's cold i just don't care but yeah so this is quite a versatile jumper i do think that you could wear it and like dress it up for a nice dinner or something like that. It is getting a little bit itchier, like the longer it's on my skin, I think especially now that it's tucked and it's more like pressed against my chest a little bit, that it is a little bit more itchy. In terms of itchiness rating, I'd probably give it like a six out of 10. No, let's give it a five. Give it a five out of 10. I'm just gonna be generous, I don't know why. 5.5, 5.5 5 out of 10. But in terms of like the color and the fit of it, I do think it's super cute. So yeah, a little bit torn on this one. A five out of 10 ain't bad, but yeah, it's very, very cute. I would highly recommend this one. I don't think I'll be keeping it. I mean, I'm not meant to be keeping anything from this haul, but it's very, very cute. I feel like this jumper is the dark horse of the order. It's very similar to the first jumper. However, it's much thinner. And also, look at these sleeves. If you don't like long sleeves, this is not gonna be for you. However, I love a long sleeve. I don't know if it's the child in me. Actually, as a child, I didn't like having long sleeves, so it's definitely not that. I don't know, but I love it now. And I really like having long sleeves, and I think it's really cute. This one is much thinner, and it has a lot more movement and slouch to it. You can also see that it's thinner, because again, you can see my bra through it. It's also a high neck, which I don't love, and for that reason, would never consider keeping this because I don't love a super high neck, not ideal. However, I do think this is like a slouchier, kind of more high necked version of the Zara fitted knit that I have, which you might remember from my Zara haul. If you haven't seen that, I will link it. It's a great haul. You should all go and watch it if you haven't, but I'm sure a lot of you have seen it because it got a lot of views. This is very similar to that knit. So if you are someone that doesn't particularly love shopping on Zara, but you prefer and other stories, I would highly recommend this as an alternative to that jumper. I would actually say the quality feels better. This is like not too itchy. I would give it like a two or a three out of 10. It's just a tiny bit around my neck where this seam here is. Other than the itch factor and the thin material of it, I would love this in my wardrobe because the material actually feels, apart from literally the neckline, I think it's the seam. Apart from that, this feels gorgeous to wear, like so, so soft, so beautiful. And it's also a really stunning color as well. It's the same color as the first knit. Like there is basically no difference. I just love the sleeves. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. So yeah, it has a slight itch around the collar, but two out of 10 ain't bad. And you could easily wear like a light layer underneath this and I don't think it would shine through too much. I mean, in an ideal world, we wouldn't have to wear a t-shirt under this and then there would be no kind of like marks from having items layered underneath, you know what I'm saying? So it just looks a lot cleaner if you don't have to layer a lot of things underneath, but it's just beautiful. I do really like it. I would recommend if you're looking for a slouchier version of my Zara jumper, this would definitely be up your street. So this jumper I ordered and I've been really excited to try it on because this 
to me was a fairly good, not so much a dupe, but an alternative to my Topshop Idol collection jumper, which is like a, I would say like a nudie pink color. I, mean, I hate saying pink because it's, I'm like, it's not pink, but a very warm toned nude. <laughs> it's a pinky nude. It has a similar fit to this. The only difference is this has, I would say a more obvious knitted effect to it and maybe slightly thicker, like it sits slightly thicker around the hem and almost has like a slightly more straight style. I don't know, maybe that's because it's been folded and you can see here, I think that actually would probably drop out. But aside from that, the difference is obviously the color. This is a more gray toned nude slash this is like a gray beige, grayish, yeah grayish. So this is close but no donut basically. I've styled it in the same way that I've been styling my Topshop one and I really love styling it like this. These are just the leather leggings again and then my croc leather boots from ASOS and yeah I really like styling it like this because it is a slightly longer jumper you can get away with having like a leather legging however the reason i really wanted to try it on first was i wanted to assess how itchy it was before i recommended it to you guys because i'm not recommending you guys shit that is itchy i don't want you buying stuff and then sending it back on my recommendation my aim is that if i recommend something you buy it you love it or you don't buy it at all so yeah basically i wanted to test how itchy it was this i would give a four i'm just gonna over egg it just for anyone that is very sensitive to itchy clothing like me i'd rather someone say it was a four than a three if they're unsure but the great thing about this one is you can't see through the material so you could wear like a higher necked body like the Zara bodies for example you could buy one of those underneath this and it would just stop the because it basically is with this one again it's the seam along the neckline which is the most itchy part the rest of it I would give like a one or a two if I'm honest even though I'm not wearing anything like underneath this I've literally just thrown it on the rest of it's fine it's mainly just the neckline so basically the plus side of this is that it is savable and so yeah it might be a four but you could pop something underneath it and like I said it's a good alternative to my favorite Topshop jumper I actually love the color of this as well I didn't think I would I prefer a warmer tone and I stand by that I do think that the Topshop one suits me better but it is still a really really pretty color this jumper is the darkest of the entire order it is that very on trend brown i love the length of this one and i actually love the material it's very it's a really thick but fine knit so it almost doesn't feel like a knit if that makes sense i love the length of it and i don't really like the fit my only issue with this is that when you do that you kind of get a lot of bulking so you are gonna spend a lot of time pulling that back down and the neck is also very high on this you could roll it down however i don't think it looks as good like that I'm not sure i don't know whose neck is this long though so do any of you like very very high necks where it basically goes up underneath your neckline do you like that this one looks very simple and very very clean it's a nice one that you could wear with leggings it has zero itch factor to it which is great but i think i'm just not as in love with the fit the color is beautiful but again, I don't think it's a really timeless colour. I do feel like this kind of brown is going to kind of become very done at some point. So yeah, not as in love with this one, but in terms of the itch, it's not so bad, but the fit I think could be better. There's just something about it which isn't quite right. Maybe there's a bit too much material here because then it like is elasticated at the bottom. Maybe that's it, because I feel like it goes like whoop. Maybe, yeah, not super, super in love with this one, but I do like the fact that it feels like very clean and minimal in terms of like, again, it doesn't have a seam at the bottom. It's still elasticated, but there's no seam. There's a very subtle one here and then one on the arms. But because of the way it's knitted, it's such a fine but thick knit, it does feel very like clean and a little bit scandy. And again, the length is great. If you're smaller, like shorter, it will cover your bum. And if you are taller, this is just gonna be a really nice length jumper on you. Cause I know taller people, when they wear like a regular length jumper, it's like, oh, it's just too, it's just like an awkward length or feels cropped. This won't, this will actually fit really really nicely uh, might actually fit better to be honest because i think this fitted shape here it comes out where my body comes out so therefore it's kind of almost exaggerated whereas if you are taller this is going to hit at a different point so it might be one to look into if you are taller and could be an absolute winner so 
yeah not in love with this one but i actually think there are lots of people out there that will love this and it also i believe it comes in quite a few colors so you know if you don't love this brown there are other options and the final knit is one that i have to be honest when i was unfolding all of this knitwear from the box and prepping it i tried this on i wore it i love it i'm not returning it this <laughs> this is the most gorgeous wrap knit oh my god i just love it so gorgeous it's like the perfect color oh i just i love looking at it the knit is actually speckled and i just love that it just gives it a little bit more texture a little bit more depth i just absolutely love the way it looks i love a wrap cardigan i'm really into them at the moment i have a black one as well and they're just such a great wardrobe staple you can really dress them up or dress them down you can do jeans and like a pair of sliders boots you can dress it up with a little pair of heels i just absolutely love it and the material of this is amazing like zero zero itch zero itch <laughs> so great i just love it so much and i know you guys loved the look of this too when i did a little skincare video on my instagram stories if you don't follow me on instagram you definitely should because basically all my outfits are there before they're here so definitely go and give me a little follow this is my shameless plug gonna leave a little thing there but yeah i wore that on insta stories and so many of you asked about it so hopefully it is still in stock but yeah this is just my absolute favorite from the entire haul it's beautiful so yeah this one gets a very 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 big thumbs up from me so that is it for my trying on another stories knitwear i really hope you guys like this so happy to have your feedback on this video because this is kind of like the start of me doing like trying on videos where i literally just like give my opinion on stuff i thought vlogtober would be the perfect month to play around with this kind of feature so let me know what you think if you would like any kind of features added to this i'm so happy to kind of like work that into the videos because this is just kind of me trialing seeing how you guys feel and like i said this is just an issue that i have when shopping and i felt like some of you might also experience the same thing i don't know but if not i hope you enjoyed seeing some and other stories knitwear i really love this jumper this i just want to say before i go this is the jumper i'm most sad about and it's literally the most itchy out of all of them that like it makes my skin cry but it looks so cute i've just put it on with these leather leggings and i just think it's so cute like i need to find a non-itchy jumper that has this kind of like neck because i'm actually really enjoying it <sighs> so sad yeah that is going to be it from me today i really hope you guys have enjoyed this and i will see you guys again very very soon bye